Okay. Uh, so let's continue from uh, what we started earlier. So if, uh, these are the uh, syntax that we have in regular expression. We say it, uh, a pair, it means a single character. It can be any type of character that we have. And if you put it in a curve bracket, it means whatever exists in that curve bracket as one literal string, okay? It's not a choice between A, B, C or A, B and B, C. A, B, C should exist as it is. Uh, and if you have a bar between that two, it means either of these two, it cannot be both, uh, you know, as, uh, as a choice. So these are some of the syntax that we have. The other one is uh, um, uh, what we call uh, the asterisk. So the asterisk means zero or more of x's, mind you, whatever, you know, comes before it would be, you know, evaluated based on, based on this syntax. So if you say, a and asterisk, so asterisk means zero or more. It means the string A or the letter A might not happen at all. It might not be there. It's okay because it says zero or more. So as you can see, an empty string would be a correct uh, output for this because it says zero or more of A. Or a single A can be an answer, two A's can be an answer, five A's can be an answer because the notation or the syntax asterisk means zero or more of whatever comes before it. So uh, so what do you think would be uh, uh, the correct answer for this? Uh, uh, asterisk and C. What if this is a regular expression? So can I have this as an answer? Hmm? Can I have this as an answer? Yes. It's true. I don't know. It has to start with A. I don't know. It has yeah. to start with A. But B can happen zero or more time. So in this case, it is zero, but it ends with C. What if, if I have this? Huh? Possible. Yes, was impossible. Yeah? Impossible. Why not? C is important. Exactly. It has to end with C. It has to start with A and it has to end with C. Now the choice that we have is on B. Either it can be zero, one, two, three, or whatever. So what if, if I have this? Possible. It's possible. What if, if I have this? Impossible. Impossible. It is possible. And does it call in or From this string, and A number of time. Sina again. As I undervalue again, your mallet, because you are a G Salone Catalani to all because you are a So from the string, it looks for a pattern that matches this one. You want to go to like A Noro, Catalo Baby Catal, be any type number of times it come, then much Arashal again, Bessie like mallet. So what if, if, if I have this? And does it be honest? And does it be on? What would be the possible output from this? A A B. Eh? A B B A N Makada Gamal Kaidalam. A in the Tagama if I let him. Kazija Maral. Eola Kazija Maral. The Kulatan A C again fell out again. Maknatum ka ewala B Nagin no Milo Pater. Ziga Matal. A Naganya Manala. B B B C Naganyara. Lick Sin and Daganya Magomala, but who let ten yasi mosa each. So it could be. A, B, B, C, and answer on a mallet. Casas voila. Casida moe jamra. Scazia lonos rola. Casi jamra. Casas. It will see C, so it's not correct. A nios dal. Eh. Catalos. Sin moza richela lemon. B can appear. B cannot, or it might not appear. Lazimanila. A, C is also an answer. 
G Helan, D Kazibala and Maganyam. So these are the two possible patterns identified from the string. Based on this pattern, from this two, um, from this input string, we can have A B B B C and A C as an answer because these are the one that qualifies the condition. Because the condition says it should start with A and it should end with C. As you can see, both of them start with A and end with C. But when it comes to B, it can be zero, one, two, three, four, five. So in this case, it is zero. In this case, it's three. So both would qualify the condition. Okay. Did you get the point? Yes. Okay. We'll see it on Python right away. Okay. After going through the syntax. The other one is uh, instead of asterisk, we have a plus. So the difference between asterisk and plus is plus is one or more times. Mind you, asterisks allow it not to appear. Whereas a plus, in a plus, it is mandatory to appear at least one. So in this case, if you say A plus, then empty set is not allowed, Mandat Noziga, empty Lihon HLM, because a plus sign means at least it should occur at least one. So one is possible, two is possible, three is possible, it goes on like this. If you have a question mark, it means zero or one. It means it cannot appear twice. It has a chance not to occur or the option not to occur. If it occurs, then it will occur only once. If it occurs two times, then it will fail, Mandat. And the other one is if you have a lower and upper limit, then you can use a curly bracket. Mind you, you have to notice the syntax. A curly bracket, instead of a curve and a square bracket, you have to use a curly bracket and you have to give it the minimum and the maximum number of times. So in this case, if you say two, three, it means this string or the letter A can appear two times and three times. It cannot appear four times. It cannot appear two times or it cannot be left out as well. Zero million HLM, and million HLM. Who let more HLM, so small HLM. So you can play with this uh, syntax to manipulate uh, your text. And there are very interesting uh, expressions uh, for regular expression. For instance, uh, if you simply use a letter D, it means look for letter D. But we know that in regular expression, we have a special character to override such kind of inbuilt functions. For example, D uh, has you know, a meaning, it is a letter D. But what if, if I want to use it for other purpose? For instance, if you include slash to it, it means match any digit, any digit. So if you have such kind of uh, uh, a text, for example, this is the uh, first class of 2021, okay? And does it allow What are the digits from this text? Can you give me the digits from this text? Huh? One and two, three. One? Yes, she. Does he? Huh? One, two, zero, two, yeah. And does he mallet no? Huh? And does he mallet no way? I as I think one, two, zero. One, two, two, zero. Lemon. Because uh, one it's two it. zero is much the sentences. No, no. So 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 T digit no ila I dalam. H digit no I dalam. I digit no I dalam. S digit no I dalam. Free space or white space digit no I dalam. Yale he dana ziga si mata one digit no idal. It will write it. Two si mata it is a digit. It's a one. Zero si mata it's a digit. It goes all like this. So this would be the answer. Now. This is if your query, I mean, your uh, expression is this. What if, if your expression is this? Then uh, all the strings is uh, another than that. Uh, and the, uh, it, no? T, T, H, H I, I S, a space. S. No, sorry. Yeah, S, 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 S
I, then S, then space, then T, Iyale head Alamalet. And the gas eaters again is a lot Alamalet. Okay? Yeah. So no, the, pa the pattern is the same for all. So slash D means any digit, slash capital D means any non digit, slash small letter S means match any white space. If you want to find only white spaces, Malet. Backslash capital letter S means the more any non white space. So anything except a white space, Malet. No? Small letter W is any alphanumeric, which means in this case, numbers and alphabets, Malet. Numbers and alphabet. If it is uppercase W, it means any non alphanumeric. It means the opposite of that, Malet. No? A caret means look for the string at the beginning, Malet. Look for it at the start. So, for example, if you want to find the prefixes, you have to use the caret because prefixes are found at the start. If you want to find the suffixes, you have to use a dollar sign. Dollar sign means look for it at the end. But if, if, if I want to find uh, the subject marker, the subject marker kun magnet where do I find it? Where do I find it? Yeah? To the end. And does he know Adel Mesafo? Saber Gadel Yalkun Adel Mesafo? So always it's found at the end. So let's even add a gallo mallet. Find the coup at the end of the string mallet. What if, if I want to find the, uh, let's say, the preposition, uh, whether, when I'm And as this beyond, let me say, I'm a little chill on them. Whether, eh, whether wait, when I'm seller, uh, so Sela is going to be found at the start. I'm going to put, sorry, I'm going to put in this, I'm going to put a caret to mean that look for it at the start of the string. Okay. The other two, the last ones that we have in here is uh, B, which is much at a word boundary, where the boundary means at the start and the end of the word. And if you make it capital letter B, it means Look for it inside Malet, no, not at the boundary, not at the start or at the end, but look for it in the middle. So take note of all, all these things uh, as a regular expression. Now, before going there, let me share with you some, uh, you know, let me let, let us do some of them here. Uh, just just a moment. Uh, Bashir. So if you want to do uh, regular expression using Python, the first thing that you have to do is import regular expression. So you have to say import RE. So Python is a programming language, but within it, there are many packages that you can import for your use. So the moment you say import RE, it means the regular expression is, is here, or you can use regular expression uh, from this uh, point or on. Then let's have uh, some strings. So uh, for instance, let's say we want to find, uh, find all uh, patterns. For instance, we say it, uh, we want to find this pattern. Mendena Barello, pattern A, B, uh, asterisk, and C. Adela, this is a pattern that we are we want to identify. Then we have to give it the text. So what would be the text? Let's say S F D A B V C K L D this. Then let's say A C then something else than uh, A, B, 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 and F in Velo. Now, from here, this is what we expect. From the string, it has to start with A, so it keeps on searching until it arrives at A. Then B can appear zero or more times. So as you can see, it appeared two times, then it has to end with C. So this should be one of the answer. Then it goes on, K, J, H, D, then any again, then A, B might not appear, that's allowed, but it ends with C. So this is one possibility. Then it goes on, it finds A, then three Bs. But since it, it didn't end with C, this is not going to be a correct answer, Malet. 
So mind you, R is a regular expression and the method that we use is find all, then we want to find all that satisfy this pattern. And this is the input string that, that we provide. So if you do this, as you can see, it is going to find A, B, B, C and A, C only because of the, the asterisk, which means zero or more times. Now, what if, if you make it plus, what do you think would happen? Hmm? Yeah. Plus means one or more times of B mallet, no? Yeah. It should start with A, but B should appear at least one. Yeah. So in this case, what would be the result? A, B, B, C. Exactly. This will never happen. The second one yeah. will never happen because it doesn't have any B in it. Okay. Now, what if, if I have, uh, instead of this, what if, if I have a question mark? Question mark when the novel enough? It cannot appear uh, more than one, more, more than one time. It is zero or one, Adam? Yeah. So let's see, in this case, the first one should not appear, my left, only the second one would appear. Because in the first yeah. case, B occurred two times, but the maximum that we allowed it to occur is only one time, my left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about this one? And does it belong to the moon? I don't know. Yeah. And does it belong to Aragos? As we said, eh? we're going one, to have two, zero, two, one. one, two, zero, two, one, and it goes on like this. Now let's let's play some trick. What if, if I have plus in here? What does plus mean? Plus mean uh, it should have to appear one or more. The, one or more time. So it means? One or more time. It exactly. The digital number should have to come one or more time. OK, so it means if it occurs one time or the first instance, that's good. But if there are upcoming elements, then it's going to combine them together. Mm -hmm. So in this case, what do you expect? What would be the result? One, two, zero. Mm -hmm. One, two, zero only. Mm -hmm. Mind you, because you jump ahead now, and then see again yet, it occurs one time, so it is a result. As you get on now, two again yet, I don't know. Yeah, come on, then. I come. It goes on. It goes on as one element. So let's see. The answer is going to be one and twenty twenty one. Two zero two one. Yeah. Exactly. One and twenty twenty one. Because a plus means one or more of a digit mother. Okay. So then there no consecutive nature. What if if I make it capital letter D? What do you expect? Capital letter D means non digits. Yeah. What do you expect? This is this space letter letter ojum bichana ma yegenyu man this address imatal malat ma yachut no kazi jemerna eskazi imatal digit yagen yaqomal malat no kaza demo kazi jemro imatal space in jemro so we are going to have three elements you see the first element including a white space malat no and it goes on like this so regular expression is a very powerful tool to manipulate your string as you wish. So this is just to give you a highlight, but you have to really, you know, uh, exercise more on this one. You have to try all these options, okay? You have to try all these options. So let's see, your weekend assignment is going to be, just like we did it now, come up with any string and test each and every one of these regular expressions, okay? Okay. Okay. Because on Monday, we are going to have a quiz on this one, a quiz on regular expression for you to write a regular expression for a specific case. Yes. Okay. So, uh, doctor, yes, doctor. Okay. That means, let's uh, ask you one question. So, how okay. we can, uh, is there an, uh, another function to use this for in order to run this program? 
It's a, a, you have it in many programming language, but uh, we are going to use it in Python. Okay, I prefer or I recommend you to use Python. Let me say in the mallet in Chilale, a split vanilla. A split argus and a loman mallet, no digits at Tagan, you split argonda mallet. Then none digit you on a Satagan, you split argo. Or best more later did a move an argo. Whenever you find a digit, that is a point of splitting mallet. Split in Tarago, and in a slazy digit wagon your gooder. Chop of Yaragual Malatin. Indeed, the Larganala Sayas to Steam. Minimas Lachuale. Him in the nomila. I'm Satagin? Eh. Splitter. Selezim at Anna, TH guiders, and I gas eaters, split aerial. Selezi, TH would be one element. S and a white space will be another element. S white space below you have the blue. I in this case again. This case address is another element, and it goes on like this, Malat. You see, T H love it show, S and space love it show. Adala, K S jamro, I in this case again. Y in and I in this case again address. N love it show is another scam which I show. You see, you can manipulate it in any way you want. By the way, you can also use it for for Ethiopic script as well. Let me say, and does it alone? Chalalan, sorry. You can say, la la split mara gano blano, okay? So what you say la matu tolo. A normal string manipulation, Serona, it should work very easily. So, let's even mallet no lens at again. It is a splitting point. Yalno, no mallet no. So, let's even a real ayah to the word to. Side residers and all lens again, split yaragal. Catalos. Matu tolo below, lens yagain is split yaragal. Mablat as a guy to elena, lens yagain is split yaragal. So you can use it in any kind of scripting. It's a very simple string manipulation, okay? Did you get the point? Yeah? Pardon me? I've got it already. Okay, good. Any other question? Minim nagar import sa nagar kano de doke understand ara go amar clear. No, no, it's it's a coding method. Any computer la amar niya sala like and write it. It's a string manipulation. As long as it has an encoding, what it uses it uses is the internal representation. Unicode enabled that long and hulu. All of them. You know, the programming side uh, or the computer, the operating system is Unicode enabled. So any kind of encoding can be understood by uh, Python programming. Okay? Okay. But mind you, you have to exercise a lot on this one over the weekend. Okay. So for instance, as I said earlier, uh, the two basic kind of searching that we have is RE search and are image. As I said earlier, the difference is if you use search, it looks for a pattern anywhere in the string. And if you do a match, it looks for it starting from the beginning. So most of the time, the match will fail. Always, it won't to start with it. A search is going to look for it anywhere. So this is what we have seen earlier. Uh, in Python, the first thing that you have to do is import re, tazila chundona in C++, Include the Takamala Chadal header file. Yeah. What does it mean? It means uh, it program to, to include to include our Not program the that that. Yeah. Just like that, import our uh, import our e means the uh, regular expression package is now at your disposal, Malat. It's in your working directory, Malat. Uh -huh. So in this case, as you can see, the pattern nominal, the pattern is a asterisk b. So what does it mean? 
What does it mean? That it means, means uh, I should uh, come once or more times. Zero or more time. Zero or more times, yeah. But it has to end with B, Malat. Yeah. So, for example, if you say search, many are gal. Kazi jamra, in a way, in a way, in a way, yale hidden up. Look, in si aga many lal. A can appear zero or more times, but it has to end with B. So, let's see, chingyo ampi kara gatal malat. Yeah. And the result many lal chwal. It is found from the search up to the seventh index. This is index zero, index one, index two. So, let's see, many ona. Index three, four, five, six. Let's see. Four, five, six, and is na seven la ya ko malam alatun. So the match is A A A B no blo ina granal malatun. This is searching. Find all advantage you. It will display everything as as a list, but the internal operation uh, is the same. So we have such kind of regular expressions. So what does this mean? What does this mean, the first one? Color uh, should they have to come at least, uh, not, should, should cannot come uh, more than one time. Okay, uh, Martha. Martha. Yes. So what does this mean? C O L O U question mark R. Uh, as I think the question mark can be represent. U comes uh, at least only one times or zero times. So give me so, a correct, give me a correct uh, output from this one. Okay. C, C yeah. O L O U U. R or maybe only one. Is she help? Now, is this a correct answer? Yes. Or maybe you can, uh, yeah. Like what this. about this one? No. Why not? Because the uh, case mark can be represent only once or zero times. Only. What about the last one? Possible. It is possible also. It's possible, right? Exactly. Yeah. It means you can appear zero or one times. One times yeah. So you see, this expression, it helped us to represent the European and the uh, American uh, spelling of color. I don't know. Just by using this expression, it can identify the, the European way of writing color and the US way of writing color. So let's color milo lama fellak, le yebicha who let search an another gumalat. By using this regular expression, you can do the searching. And if you have this one, yeah, but I'm the actual, I hope. This means the letter O can appear zero or more times. So O H is possible because the first O is here, the last H is here, but the one that in the middle can appear zero times. The same is true here, here, and here. So you can see that regular expression is a very powerful tool to manipulate uh, a string. For instance, we have talked about how to identify email addresses, right? I wrote an letter. Have a look at this one. Now, what does W means? Slash W min malatno. Yeh min malatno. Including all alphanumerical. Yeh malatno, you see? Yeh malatno any alphanumeric, because in an email, you can have alphabets and numbers. You cannot have special characters, right? So let's see another again, Malat, no? Any alphanumerical plus Alan, what does it mean? One or more times, because it cannot uh -huh. be zero. You see? Did you get yeah. the point? Yeah. Hot any uh... alphanumeric, one or more time, Malat, no? Yeah. At the loss, the at sign. Because if it is an email, the at sign must be there. Does us. Any alphanumeric? One or more time. Kazab min malik alabet. Something dot something dot yalna 
But mind you, in regular expression, what does dot mean? Only single character. A single character, Maladno. Gin dot Malad Kafalagan, Menaragolan, override Naragolan, Vasilash. So if you say slash dot Karagachu, it means pair it. It doesn't mean any single character. So you have to be very careful of this syntax. Magnatum, dotwa, chiperedwa, it has its own function in regular expression. Belanate la Kazibafit, Tazila Chaladel, Zigam and Belanan. A dot means any single character. Dot Rasun Malet Bifelegis. Dot an Aragana, slash Askamatalu, it means single character Malet Edelem. Now in this case, I mean a parade, a dot itself Malet. Okay? Yeah. So any alphanumeric character one or more times, then it ends with n alenana. Ihe he pattern demo any number of times or karera galala. Because you can have something like this. And as you little chalala, lam sale yani email, atilena menila, aau dot edu ilalada dot et ilal. As you can see, menada. This is alphanumeric. Plus dot, then another alphanumeric plus dot. Yeah. So this is what we mean by knowing what you need. Whenever you want to write a text processing, or whenever you want to write text manipulation algorithm, you have to know what what you know you want to extract. You have to understand how things are written or things are are documented. Once you are done with this one, you have to choose it. Mind you, don't forget the bracket yeah. sign. Is an an or adala kauston or pikem menala kazagan menal. We have the or sign. Either it has to end with com, with or, with net, or with idioma. So if this is a pattern menalen, machal no na pattern no lai menalen. Pattern no means this pattern. So identifies and hello. It is going to give us the email address. So you can write regular expression to crawl an email from a text. So regular expression is a very powerful tool. For this purpose. Okay. So, as I said, this is a pattern that we have, and this is a text. Then you can talk about it in a group. Group Milo, the bracket to state a comma to This is one group. This one is another group. This one is a third group. And this one is a fourth group. The bracket to comma to Tambamulu is going to consider them as a group. So, whenever you say group one, group one, Malate to know. The information that you have before the at sign, which means the email mallet. No, in this case, it says Fini uh, Mila. Group to mallet is the domain. Domain uno. As you can see, it says CSM UMBC EDU Ilalihe the second group. So, group po chun seta in setulut manala. Fini la, Heni la, MBC la, EDU Ilalacho. This is one group. This is another group. The whole Mugnatum, as you can see, it has a bracket. Whenever it is put in a curved bracket, Regular expression will also consider it to be uh, a grouping uh, method. So these are some of the things that we have. For example, if this is an email, the email from wendyatiao.org is you at gmail.com. And if you have this regular expression, what does S means? Upper letter S. It means a non-white space. A small letter S, it means a white space. Upper letter S, it is a non-white space. It means Start from a non white, count any number of it, arrive at that sign, then go through until you find another white space. Okay, at least one non white space character before and after it. So in this case, Kazija Mernay met Alam Salet, Iniosda, Echeniosda, Iniosda, and the white space again, Menona Malet, Ferrasa. Iniosda, M E L Dilena, white space again, Ferrasa. What about now? W S dal O N D E. One or more than white space malat no. Then the at sign alat. Kazadamo one or more than white space, which means kazija mernanda kana Y A H O O O R G. Lena le kaziga siders white space siders ya komal slazi manila. This is the first result. Then white space is white space Then it's going to consider this one as the second one. Then it will give you as two outputs. Mind you, this is a very simple regular expression. It might not work as such. Let me say, 
you can have a string which will make it fail. Let me say, let me give you an example. Where you add now we give it to us. And that's give it to us. Again, email no below your scroll because this is a non white space before at, and this is a non white space before at. So, it will say this is an email address. So, we know that the expression is or the pattern is very simplistic. So, it means it will make some, some mistakes. It's obvious. Okay, mind you, all these are for you to exercise uh, over the weekend. So, sometimes for the groups, mind you, grouping grouping for the groups, you can give it a name. So to give it a name, you can, you should, within the bracket, within the bracket, don't worry about this much. Okay, don't worry about this one so much, okay? So within the bracket, you can put question mark P, then with less than and greater than sign within it, you can give it a name. So let's say group one, group two, come out of. If you say simply name, then it will give you the pattern in here. If you say, let's say the host, then it will give you the pattern uh, within this group. No, don't worry about this one. Deal with it only if you are, you know, interested to explore more about regular expression. So there are many regular expression functions like a split, so for a split also re dot nominal always, but mind you, in Python, the first thing that you have to do is import re malatala pachu, the regular expression should come to you, then split kalambuala. In this case, what does backslash w means? Huh? Non white space mallet model, Salazi. No, no, sorry. Uh, that is S. This one W means uh, alphanumeric mallet. Non alphanumeric, you know, and I got again split our bet mallet. So in this case, T is alphanumeric, H is alphanumeric, I is alphanumeric, S is alphanumeric. So it's not a point of splitting. But if you see the three dots and the space are neither alphabet nor numbers. Salazi split maria point you know. So this would be the first uh, output. Catalog is. At the low egg, at the low test, at the low shorts, at the low end, sweet of split yal hidal manat. So whenever it finds a white space or uh, any non alphanumeric number, then that would be the point of uh, splitting. The other one, the other one that we have is sub, which is for substitution. So let's see, for substitution, you have to give three parameters. First, the things to be searched. Second, the thing to replace them with, and third, the input text. Look for the 